Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, Pro Box card today, Electric Card. I'm going to get this name right if it's the last thing I do because we've seen him a few times now. Uh, I think three times on uh, on the Pro Box series. And I've gotten it wrong every time. Otar Aronosian. Otar Aronosian. This guy is a real one. But before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day. It's 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, we just had an electric electric pro box card please also i'm sorry please also subscribe to your other channel texas boxing scene on youtube all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery um so let's get back into it um otar aronosian with a sensational performance um he's getting him he's gonna fight from what i understand and feel free to correct me if i'm wrong um He's going to fight in a, in, in a final eliminator against Lamont Roach Jr. Uh, and the winner of that fights Hector Garcia. I think I have that right. They said that the other way. They said he, he is now the manager. That was an eliminator, not in a final eliminator, I think. Although that could be subject to change. But Aaron Eason got dropped early, got off the floor, uh, finished Gutierrez at the end of eight. Uh, corner came in and stopped it. There was some confusion at the end, but there was a stoppage. Um, Gutierrez came out strong. He, it, this was a firefight from the beginning. But Ota Aronosian, this guy is going to be problems. I, I think he's going to beat Lamont Roach. Um, I, I don't think Lamont Roach has the power to deal with him, although Roach is a really good fighter, really good skills. He's come on strong recently, right? Uh, Lamont Roach has, you know, uh, scored a few knockouts. He had a couple of body shot knockouts, um, I believe. Lamont Roach is a, a really good fighter, a really good fighter, 23-1-1. Uh, the only loss he has is to Jamel Herring in his first title shot. Now, this is huge for, for, for um, Lamont Roach. Uh, he's been out of the ring for over a year again. Um, he's got the win over Rene Alvarado, which was really impressive. Um, he's got a second-round knockout over Daniel Rose's body shot. Uh, he scored a first round knockout in his first fight back after the loss to um, uh, Jamal Herring. He fought uh, no one in particular in, in Indio. Got a first round knockout, came back, fought Daniel Rosas, knocked it out with a body shot in the second. Uh, then he fought uh, 2021 at the AT&T Center. Uh, late 2021, he got... The UD dominant victory over Rene Alvarado, which is a really good win. Um, he fought again um, in 2022, just once. Uh, July of 2022, he fought on the Ryan Garcia Fortuna card, if you remember that card. Uh, um, and he fought uh, no one in particular. Angel Rodriguez, I believe. Um, so, you know, he's got the Alvarado. He's got some good wins. He's got himself in line for a final eliminator. Now we know who it's going to be against. Otar Aronosian. Um, Roach has done good things, and, and this is going to be a good fight. But this guy is so relentless, and he's got so much pressure, and he can box a little bit. Um, we've seen Otar. Uh, we saw him back in May. He beat uh, Eddie Valencia. We saw him fight Cesar Juarez. And uh, we also saw him fight Alejandro Guerrero, pork chop from Dallas. Um, that was on a uh, a uh, fr uh, Friday night fights, a showbox, a Showtime showbox card, um, you know, in, in, in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Uh, so we've seen him do some good stuff. We've seen him get some good wins, some quality wins. Um, it, you know, I think he's going to be ready now. You know, I uh, I, I think. 
it, it's weird because he seems so powerful and so strong. And, and you know, they call him Pitbull for good reason because he's just a, a pressure guy. He's got some decent skills. He's not just, you know, a, a brawler. He's got some decent skills. But you look at his knockout ratio, it's not all that spectacular. You wonder, like, why Why is this guy not getting more knockouts? Uh, but Aaron, Aaron Isian, it's, it's a headache to deal with him. High volume, high volume puncher, strong puncher with decent skills. You know, he's a pit bull. He's short, he's stocky, he comes after you. It's just going to be a lot to deal with. I mean, Gutierrez is a real fighter. Gutierrez has wins over uh, – uh, this is his world title wins over Rene Alvarado. Uh, you know, he went the distance in the competitive fight with Hector Garcia. Um, so uh, this is not an, this was not an easy fight, which is what I'm saying. This was a real fight for, for, uh, Aronisian. And, you know, he did get dropped, but he came out and he survived and it, it was sensational. And now it looks like he's going to fight Lamont Roach. And should he win that in a, in a, in a final eliminator, it, it's Hector Garcia for the WBA world title. So, again, this is a guy who kind of emerged on Showbox less than two years ago. And and now, you know, Pork Chop, Starlin Castillo, Cesar Juarez, uh, Eddie Valencia, Roger Gutierrez. This guy that just keeps winning, and he keeps winning in entertaining fashion. And now he's got himself in, in real good position to fight for a world title. Also, I want to give a shout-out on the same card, uh, Petrus Aranon. You know him because he beat current world champ, Sibiril Matias, right? Uh, this was uh, – what card was this? Uh, was this – it might have been Fury Wilder, I guess. I, it was, it, something like that. Um, and I mean, let me look it up. It was Wilder Fury, um, the second one. Where he beat a super uh, super Matias, you know he was getting beat up. He came back, he dropped him, rallied. This guy Peaches Aranon, he, he trains with Freddie Rose now. He's trained with uh, Dave Martinez in in Houston. This guy is something to keep your eye on. Uh, his record is not great. It's eighteen three and two. Again, he's got just nine knockouts, but he's a brute force in there. Like he is a brute brute force in there. Um, eighteen three and two. He's got a win now over Baez. He's got a win over Super Bowl Matisse. He has what should be a win over Steve Claggett. But he's got losses to Kareem Martin like uh, you know, uh, and, and the Claggett loss and, and then the Matisse loss in the rematch. But this guy is a 140-pounder. I'd like to see him fight someone like Omar Juarez, right? Like um, someone like that. Let's see what he can do with someone like that. Let's see what he can do with Brandon Lee or, or – or, um, the British guy, Dalton Smith. I, he, he's going to be a headache for any of these guys. The guy's just going to want to keep your eye on it. Petrus Aranon, 18-3-2, 34 years old. You know, not going to win a world title or anything, but a real good, fun fighter to watch. But let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, it's August 9th, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.